Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And going to continue the coverage on all of Google's new hardware they just came out with. I've already done the Google Home Mini, the new Pixel phones. Now it's time to open up the Google Pixel Book. The Pixel Book runs Chrome OS and I bought the base model. So $999 for the base model, including a seventh gen i5 processor, 128 gig SSD and eight gigs of RAM. But anyways, I wanna go ahead and open it up Show you real quick what's in the box and check out apparently this premium looking Chromebook. The Google Pixel Book can have up to a 512 gig SSD and also 16 gigs of RAM. And there's even a seventh gen i7 processor model. Of course, the more that you purchase, the more it's gonna cost. Of course, like I said, I got the base model at that thousand dollar price point. Taking off the top, we are greeted right away with the device itself some information, some chargers right away. Uh, you do have a bunch of wrapping on your Pixel Book. Fairly light actually and very thin. Uh, lighter and thinner than I thought it was gonna be. But continuing and I'm gonna set it to the side for now and we're just gonna continue on and show what's in the box. So right now let's get started, get to know your Pixel Book and make sure to be safe. And of course here we do have a 45 watt charger which does look like it collapses. So you can just slide this out like so. And it is USB type C, of course, has a Google G up at the top. And here is your USB type C to USB type C cable to connect to that AC adapter. Pretty convenient that it's detachable. Uh, I always like when you can just kind of carry a cord around with you instead of necessarily not needing your AC brick. And they also mention on their website that if you have a Pixel phone, this will uh, work with to charge the Pixel phone as well. Now that we've seen everything that's in the box, let's grab what you came here to see, and that's that Pix Pixel Book. You can go ahead and rip off this plastic wrapping, and that was easy enough. And you'll see silver uh, and white accents. The white has uh, a different feel to it. It's actually got a bit of a coating to it, whereas the this is just all metal. So similar look to actually the Pixel and Pixel 2 with that offset uh, two-tone coloring. On the left side, you have one of the four microphones, USB type C slot. You have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, volume rockers, and a power button. Now I'm curious to see if I can charge from uh, either side of the USB type C slot. Let's continue on with just a closer look at the device. On the right side, you have another USB type C slot and another microphone. And that's pretty much it, continuing on. Of course, let's do the one-handed test. And looks like it failed on that first try. I'm gonna try one more time. So one-handed, try and open it up. And it looks like that bottom half does kind of pop up with it. Not a big deal for me. I know some people care about that though. Let's go ahead and press the power button in the bottom left-hand corner. Let it boot up. Um, very interesting look to this uh, with the two-tone coloring. Uh, definitely not as standard of a laptop as I would expect. And of course it is 360, so you can flip it over, turn it into a tablet. I might have to plug this in. I actually pressed the power button and it doesn't look like it did anything. So uh, in the meantime, let's get a close look at that trackpad. You can hear it clicking. And then here is a close look at that keyboard with a dedicated Google Assistant button, which is kind of cool. Uh, I kind of like that, especially on a laptop. I like it a lot more than a dedicated button for an assistant on a phone, but I do like Google's integration of the squeeze function. So I may have made a mistake because this might not actually be a microphone. I'm gonna plug this in and you'll see it should light up. There we go, a status indicator light. And that actually will turn on on both sides. So you'll see that status indicator lights there as well. So it looks like you can charge from either side of your laptop. I also wanna make note that there's some grip to the bottom of it and it is raised so the bottom of your laptop will not be scraping on any surface. So now that it's plugged in and charging, I went ahead and booted it on up and we are now on a welcome screen. So this is the Chrome OS. It's probably gonna ask you to sign in. Of course, I believe you need to connect to a Wi-Fi network to actually get through this screen. I actually read that on their website. So after connecting to my Wi-Fi, it looks like Chrome OS needs an update, but I wanna mention a couple other first impressions of this guy, and that would be the keyboard. It's very soft to touch. I typed in my Wi-Fi password and noticed just the keys on top are of a softer feel and even pressing them. I'm just gonna type real quick. Just 
give you an idea of what it sounds like, just a very softer touch. And also, when I'm typing, you rest your wrists right here on the outside of the trackpad. And this white part here is raised a little bit above the colder, harder metal, and it's soft. It has a grippier feel to it, and it's also soft, so it's a lot more comfortable when I rest my wrists on it. If I can give you a bit of a closer look at the corner here, you'll see it is a little bit raised, and this is just kind of a softer pad. So the Pixelbook rebooted. It says it's applying a critical update, and also it's saying touchpad firmware update. Uh, so it looks like right out of the box, you might have to wait for it to download and install some updates. All right, so updates have been applied. It is now saying sign into your Chromebook. And this is actually a 12.3 inch, 2400 by 1600 display. And no, it is not a touch screen. All right, just kidding, just making sure you're paying attention. Yes, it is a touch screen, so you can go ahead and of course put it in tablet mode, tent mode, any of those other modes. Uh, and type away. Now you'll see enter your email. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in real quick and I'll be back. Okay, so I signed in, went home, and you'll see video stream popped up and meet your Google Assistant. So we can set that up. Uh, video stream popped up because that was actually um, a plugin that I have in the Chrome browser, which you'll see, of course, is installed. And also take a look at this guy. Is that the Play Store that I see? And loading up behind the Google Assistant, it is. So the Play Store is on the Chromebook, which, or I should say the Pixelbook, which is much needed. That was a, a long needed integration, but it is there for those of you that are gonna ask. Give the assistant permission to help you. Yes, I'm in. Let's get started. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. And there we go. So you can press the button, of course, on the keyboard, but you can also activate it with your voice. So here's the Chrome OS. You'll see down here is where your notifications are, and you'll see it's downloading some apps, uh, completing the setup process. Bottom left here is where your app drawer pretty much is. So you see play music, movies, books, the Play Store in general, you can search. And then here's a, a way to get to all your apps. And I just swipe down on the touchpad to minimize that. Bottom right here, you can press this. It gives you information, what you're connected to. You'll see Bluetooth is enabled. Cast devices available, so I can cast to uh, cast the screen to any of these really quickly, which is super convenient. And let's jump into settings. So once we're in settings, I'm gonna scroll down and actually go to storage management and you'll see available 99 gigs. And that uh, is installing some things uh, from myself and my account sign in. So I would say about 100 gigs available out of that 128 SSD. And of course there's a solid state drive. Uh, let's go back from storage management because there's a bunch of others and you'll see touchpad has some options, uh, tap dragging touchpad speed scrolling Australian or traditional Australians where if I scroll down it goes up and then flip flopped and then keyboard settings. Interestingly enough, you can actually treat the top row keys as function keys. So there's those top row keys whether I wanna make the brightness a little bit uh, higher or if I wanna go ahead and uh, turn up the volume or mute, anything like that. But I can actually turn those into function keys within the settings. A big one I wanna go into is that display. Uh, because right now it's set at 1200 by 800, which you can actually bump up. So you'll see all the way up. There we go. And look at how tiny things get when you bump it up to that native resolution. So that's actually uh, pretty crazy and just a little bit too small for my taste. So you're going to have to play around and find that sweet spot. Because, of course, using that native resolution is great but you'll find that it makes things too small. So jumping back to 1200 by 800, we can go ahead and quickly swap up and find the one. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna stick with 1500 by 1000 just for now, uh, for the sake of this video. So now let me go ahead and just open up the Chrome browser and we are ready to go. So if I wanna go ahead and go to my website real quick, there we go, that loads right up. Maybe if I want to go over to Reddit, That'll load up and you can reorient the screen if you'd like to. You can maximize it, minimize it. And then let's go into our app drawer and maybe I want to listen to some music. I can go into play music or of course Google Photos is there, Calendar. There's a files app so you can go ahead and manage some of your files within Google Drive or on the device's storage. The Pixelbook has a 720p camera up top at 60 frames per second. We can go ahead and load up the, I think there's a webcam app. Let me go ahead and search for camera. And there we go. Let's load up the camera and you can take a look at me right behind the camera. And there it is. So nothing crazy. It is 720p. 
Uh, there's a bunch of lights going on and that is that. And then finally, if you are curious where those speakers are, they are actually right here. So the, the speakers are right behind this, these uh, rubber mounts. Uh, so it is kind of front facing, which is good because especially if the screen's up, it'll be facing towards you. However, uh, the sound will be kind of going away from you if you are going to hold it in tablet mode like I am here. And it looks like everything gets disabled in terms of the keyboard or the trackpad when you are in this mode. And of course you can load up a bunch of things and just use it as a touch screen and use it as a tablet if you'd like. So overall, that's it. That would be the unboxing of the new Pixel Book from Google. Very interesting device. Curious to see what you guys actually think about it. If it's something that you think uh, will replace your laptop, especially with Chrome OS, it's kind of uh, up in the air. I mean, you do have the Play Store, so you can install a bunch of different apps, but not sure if that's good enough to replace maybe potentially a Windows laptop. So drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Be sure to subscribe as well. Full review coming on this guy. So make sure you're notified. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.